Very first thing, game settings. Uh, most of this stuff I leave as untouched. Cinematic camera is untouched, untouched, untouched. Hints I have set to no. Control hints set to no. I'm not a noob. I don't care about any of this other crap. And I leave it off. All this stuff right here, these toggles are subjective. Do what you want with those. Um, the only things I really start getting into here that I change that are important begin here. And that is with flight G safe defaults on and flight G safe disables when boosting. Both of these by default are set to yes. I have them set to no. Having these on will actually limit your performance in game, your performance of your ship and things like that will just make you worse. Turn this stuff off. It's on by default, turn it off. Same thing here, proximity assist defaulting on, turn it off, get rid of it, get rid of that. Speed brake engages boost. Some people like this. I have it set to no. Some people like it. Try it if you you know if you want to. Um, in general, I like to use my boost for more controlled movements. But hey, maybe you maybe you don't. Uh, scrolling down here, it's getting into this now. As a mouse and keyboard user, I find this stuff to be completely necessary. Absolutely game changing. Trust me. By default, your V Joy yaw and degrees, and your pitch. They are set to 19. Now, what this is, real quick, is it's that tail. When you're steering your ship with virtual joystick, you see that tail from the center. To get the more out of it, right, to get the most out of it, you got to move it all the way out there. It makes the tail longer. Set this stuff down to 4. Trust me on this. Set it down to 4 and use 4 as a base for you to adjust it as needed. I leave mine to 4. I like it snappy like that. This gives you more control over your ship with less input required. Trust me on this one. Set it to four. Velocity indicator, always on. You always want that on. I do the same. Now, driver V-Joy, I don't know. I mean, hell, I'll put this down to four. It's a false 19. I don't use it really for driving. But we'll put it down to four anyway. Turret V-Joy, this one's huge. Same thing. Set it down to four. For turret gunners, you want this down to four, 100%. Same as your... Yawn degrees for flying, terra gunning down to four. So scrolling down, do, 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 let's keep looking. And convergence, this one's pretty big here. Vehicle, the convergence by default, I believe, is 1500. Lower this stuff down to 100. This will allow you to safely engage infantry targets or ground targets you don't have a lock on without having to mess with your convergence. So 100 meters is perfect for this. Leave it at that. Uh, scrolling down, let's keep looking. A lot of this stuff doesn't matter. Um, I have my crosshair animation set off. Some people like it on. I like mine off. Uh, default lead lag type. I have mine set to lead, but I use both of them, and I have a keybind for that. We'll get to that ad later. Scrolling down. None of this so far really matters. All right, this one matters here. Vehicles targeting enable auto zoom on lock target. I believe by default it's on. Turn this crap off. No, we don't want this. I also, for redundancy, put all these sliders down to zero, just to be safe. So zero on that. Pilot look ahead enabled. No. All these sliders, zero. Turret look ahead enabled. No. All these sliders, zero. Driver look ahead enabled. No. All these sliders, zero. Pilot, turret, driver, whatever. Padlock, no. All these sliders, zero. Uh, let's see, go down. This one I like. Emissions HUD display signature values. It's by default no. Put it on. It gives you more of a, a readout on your cross-section, infrared, and EM signatures. I like to have that on. All right, that's it for that. Let's move over to graphics. Graphic-wise, mostly leave everything as it is. Quality is very high. All this other crap, low, low, off. Field of view, subjective, I like 90. Between 90 and 100 is typically good, whichever one you like. Sharpening, I do it 100 for myself, because why not? Chromatic average, I leave it 0, because I don't like demons. Alright, going to audio. Audio is very important here. Uh, a lot of this crap, we don't worry about. But what we do worry about is audio-driven camera shake strength, okay? If you leave this up high, and if you're in like a hurricane or something, you're going to be like Michael J. Fox shaking all over the place. Turn this crap off. Going to controls. Controls here. I like to have a mouse sensitivity of 4 with a desktop computer sensitive um, DPI of 800. So my mouse is a Razer Death Adder. I put the DPI at 800 in the software. And I have the sensitivity in-game around 3 to 4, depending on my mood. Right now, I like 4. 
And of course, acceleration and smoothing all set to zero. Everything else is default. So moving on to key binds here, we're going to give you guys some an, an idea, right, of what I like to do. I change a few things, not a lot. Most of it's set to default, but there are a few things that I do change. So starting off here at the very top, under vehicle seat and operator modes, I change eject from alt Y to alt uh, backslash. I like that. I recommend always using an alt modifier for something like this because I do the same thing here for self-destruct. So I do right alt backslash for ejection and right alt backslash for self-destruct. I think these are very useful. You should probably set those up something similar, but don't have them on one key to avoid any accidents, whether it's you accidentally press something or your cat jumps on a keyboard. We'd hate to have that in the middle of PvP. Uh, scrolling down here, open all doors, close all doors. I like these. I like these for dropship operations. I like these for, you know, getting this convenience, right? If I land, I open all my doors, I get out. Or I land, I close all my doors, I get, I get up off the ground, you know. These are fun, wonderful keybinds here, right, for just convenience. And I think they're also cool when you're doing a dropship operation and you automatically open up all the doors and all your guys jump out of your dropship. Very cool. Uh, let's see, going down here. Uh, the next one I have set, uh, scrolling down. This one is now by default. This is request landing. This is whenever you're landing or trying to take off from a station or a planet. You have to contact ATC. Before, I used to keep mine bound to F3 because F3 is a free key. But as of 319, by default, it's set to left alt plus N. I just wanted to kind of highlight that because people don't know it. Uh, if this one's annoying, you can make it F3 because F3 is a key that doesn't have any function. So scrolling down under targeting, this one is pretty important, I feel. Uh, entering remote turrets for convenience sake, I have mine set to insert, delete, and home. This is particularly good in vehicles that have remote turrets like Scorpiuses, um, A2s, anything with a remote turret. This makes it super convenient to get in and out of it. I like those. Oh, also, and to change it, change which turret you're using in case of the A2. So scrolling down some more. Under weapons, we have one thing here set, and that is toggle lead and lag. Like I said earlier, I use both key, I use both aiming styles for lead and lag. I find them both useful for different situations. So I will have a key bind for this, which is right control. So I have it set up if I need to see where my target's going, or if lag is not working for me, I'll swap over to lead and vice versa. So scrolling down. This one here, pretty important for me anyway. Again, master keyboard user. Default, your flares and your decoy are Hotel and Juliet on your keyboard. I don't like that. It takes my hands off my steering and my control. So I put mine, I have, a again, a Razor Death Adder. So I have mine set to button 4 and button 5 on my mouse for decoys and noise, respectively. So that's the, the, another pro tip for you right there. You should try that. Now, this one is super important. This might be the most important one of all of them. Power Triangle Assignments. Power triangle management in PvP is essential, and in PvE. And But this video is not about that. But, starting off here. Weapon set to max, tap 1. I do not like to go incrementally. I want it to go all the way. So I go from 1 to 100. So, weapons set to max, 1. Engines set to max, 3. Shields set to max, 2. Reset assignments, 4. Now, some of these are going to share binds. Number four in particular shares a bind. I personally went through and unbound things that I was not using that shared these keys and caused conflict. So keep that in mind if you do follow this or you download it. You may have to unbind a couple things. I believe I actually have unbound if you do download the, the config file. So there's that. And everything else is up to you really.